Love is patient. Love is kind. It does not envy. It does not boast. It is not proud. It is not rude. It is not self-seeking. It is not easily angered. It keeps no record of wrongs. Love does not delight in evil, but rejoices with the truth. It always protects, always trusts, always hopes, always perseveres. Love never fails. Tom doesn't answer, call Anthony. Jacob, today surrounded by all of our loved ones, I choose you. And I promise to choose you every day. You are my best friend, my voice of reason, and the love of my life. I promise to laugh with you, cry with you, and grow with you. I will celebrate your successes and mourn your losses as though they were my own. To be your partner in all of life's adventures is all I can hope for. Loving what I know of you and trusting what I don't yet know, 
I give you my hand. I give you my love. I give you myself. The good, the bad, and the yet to come. You are my one and only, today and every day. I love you. It's hard to put into words how crazy it is that we're standing here today. Uh, we've been through some wild stuff. Uh, I mean, I, I assaulted your dad. Uh, <laughs> then told you that you ruined my life. Uh, but let's not forget that when I try to propose, you try to swipe that ring out of my hand. <laughs> but here we are making it work. So here's the thing about vows, the promises. And I've got some promises I would like to make to you. First and foremost, I promise to love you, even when we're mad at each other. Love does not fade during the tough times, and I'm in it for the long haul. I promise I'll do the little things, like take out the garbage when you ask. Uh, and when you need me, I'll be there, no matter what, through thick and thin. I promise to be the man you deserve. I've made mistakes, said things I shouldn't have, but I'm committed to being the best version of myself for you. You have been always my rock, and I want to be that for you too. And last but not least, I promise we're going to build that love that lasts. Jacob and Cynthia, before each of you is a container of sand which represents you, all that you have been, all that you are, and all that you will ever be. Today, you're combining all of you and your uniqueness into the final vessel. As you each hold your sand, separate containers of sand represent your lives this moment, individual and unique. As you now combine your sand together, your lives also join together as one. I give you this ring. I give you this ring. As a symbol of my love and faithfulness. As a symbol of my love and faithfulness. And with all that I am. And with all that I am. And all that I have. And all that I have. I honor you. I honor you. And promise to love you forevermore. And promise to love you forevermore. Ring. I give you this ring. As a symbol of my love and faithfulness. As a symbol of my love and faithfulness. All that I am. And with all that I am. And all that I have. And all that I have. I honor you. I honor you. And promise to love you forevermore. And promise to love you forevermore. Now that Jacob and Cynthia have given themselves to each other by solemn vows, with the joining of hands, and the giving and receiving of a ring, and with the power vested in me, I now pronounce you husband and wife. You may now kiss your bride.
I've known his ins and outs for quite a time. And uh, it's easy to say that I see those in the short time that I've known you. And uh, I couldn't care about another man in this world than Jack Warnick. And I'm glad that he's finally found someone that I feel comfortable enough to stand here and talk in front of you and express my love for this happening and this being, you know, come to fruition. Um, I've had such a loyal and good friend. <laughs> like Mac, I'm gonna be shooting it from the hip. But um, like I like to say, Lori, Joe, I'm looking forward of our families coming together and growing together. I can't wait. But it's you know, like you guys, it's been an up and hill battle watching you guys grow together. And I know we've had our moments, everybody's had their moments, even though you tried killing me about two years ago, you know, that you brought up earlier. But I, I survived. I'm just glad I didn't hit Connie. But, but I just want to wish you guys the best. I'm looking forward to our families growing and getting close and spending more time together, all of us together as one big family. And I just want to wish you guys the best, work together, communicate, love each other. Keep your vows, like you said. And as you can see out here, this is all family, and we're all just gonna grow together and and grow together. I don't much don't know what more to say, but just just it. I'm looking forward to us growing. I love you guys, and let's have a good time tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Joseph Rodriguez Jr. I'd like to thank all of you guys personally. Uh, I can't, but I will do it kind of in a grand gestural uh, thing and say thank you all for coming out. Uh, it means a lot, truly, uh, to both of us uh, that we were able to experience this beautiful day with all of you. So that, enjoy your drinks, have food, <laughs> party, rock and roll. Oh my God.